I do want to break down from you folks from time to time uh, things that are current that um, could have an effect on you because I want you to um, you you can you can always be prepared. Uh, there are times where you cannot predict, but you can at least try to be prepared. And uh, so this is one of those times. So uh, this is coming straight out of the news. So here we go in the news. Uh, President Biden has uh, proposed new spending, and uh, it is being positioned as infrastructure. Now, again, I'm not going to get political on this, so everybody take a big, deep breath. I'm going to try to apply this to you uh, as as Americans. I know we have a broad audience, but uh, for you American workers, uh, this could create some interesting opportunities. So we'll get into that. Uh, so all this is, is just here's where we're going. It's a $2 trillion spending plan. Uh, a big portion of it going to infrastructure. So that's roads, bridges, uh, railways, uh, transit, all of that. So, uh, you know, there's going to be uh, some opportunities there uh, when you talk about building and rebuilding and updating things of that nature. Um, I'm not going to get into the politics on this. Uh, obviously, there's going to be a big corporate tax rate hike. That's just plain and simple in the proposal. Uh, so as a consumer, this could affect you. Anytime companies have to pay more taxes, they pass it on to us. So that is a reality. Let's break down um, a different area, though. I just explained the whole roads and bridges. They're also talking about retrofitting homes with a lot of lead pipe replacement. This has to do with the the drinking water issue. We saw this in Flint, Michigan, caught the headlines uh, not too very long ago. Uh, they're also looking at universal broadband as as Internet, obviously, is it becomes a, you know, Joe, the internet's like water now, if you think about it. Yes. You know, it, it didn't used to be. Um, but this is the part that I, I think as somebody uh, who may be looking for job opportunities, what this could mean and how it changes our overall economy. And I'm not talking about good, bad, Republican, Democrat. I'm just saying as it changes the workforce. Because many times what you don't understand, we think, well, it's just a tax spending thing. No, there are some job market implications here this is one of them because they are proposing now again this has got to go through the house and the senate okay so this is not a done deal but uh there is a proposed 400 billion dollars in this 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 uh this uh, spending package uh to expand access to affordable care for the elderly and disabled i'm not surprised by this and here's why the baby boomers are aging quickly okay so What's the top end of the baby boomers? I think it's in that 70, 72 range, 75 range, I think. Uh, my mom and dad are boomers. My mom just turned 69. My dad just turned 70. So you're, you're seeing a very large uh, portion of our country in the age demographic is aging. And so you're going to see a lot more caregiving jobs. And the government and Biden is basically saying, we want to spend in this area uh, for this reason. A, we need more caregivers and our existing caregivers, they need to make more money. So this is the proposal. Okay. So the caregiving and, and healthcare support, and I mentioned this the other day, uh, for those of you folks who just love taking care of folks, you're people driven, you, you're good with people and you like doing work with people. Uh, caregiving is going to be a rapidly, whether this legislation goes through or not, um, I think you're going to see a lot of opportunities in caregiving. And let me tell you why I bring this up. Uh, we get this call all the time. Hey, Ken, I'm in my 50s, I'm my 60s, I'm retiring, but I want to keep working or I need to keep working. And so, again, if you've got people talents and you've got people passion, you like doing work with people, uh, then I'm telling you this is a great opportunity. I think you're going to see these type of jobs expand. And and I will also tell you that the good news about this is you're not going to have this high bar for entry. You know, it's it's not going to be go get a degree for this. It's it's like, are you good with people? Are, do you have people skills, soft skills we talk, call those? Um, are, are, are you 
dependable? Will you show up? Will you love on people, take care of them? Are you thorough, uh, a caring person? Then you're going to have opportunities. So um, there you go.